Hello YouTube, uh, greetings from New York City, Williamsburg, Greenpoint, Brooklyn to be precise. Uh, we're on the East River overlooking the skyline of Manhattan. The East River is beautiful as always with trash, industrial wasteland, collapsing piers, and uh, if you look close enough, you may see a dead body or two. But that's not why we're here. I'm here to show you uh, my pride and joy, my 1991 uh, Cadillac Brougham. Decided to create a video of mine in response to uh, all the other videos that have been created out there for these cars. I like watching them, so I thought perhaps I'd <laughs> Do one of my own. You do the walk around here. Parked up against the water. It's a 91. And it does indeed have 350 5.7 liter V8. Chevrolet's small block engine, the L05 also known as, and we just did the once around of my car. Some of my favorite features include the engine, uh, not to mention the wire spoke wheels. They are true wire spoke wheels and not hubcaps. So if you look through there, you can see the disc brake. They were a, an $1,100 dealer installed option at the time the car was purchased. The car is actually in very good shape. And it only has 50,000 miles. Considering it's 2011, uh, that's pretty good for a 20 year old car. Another one of my favorite things made in Texas by Texans. Alright, now let's take a look at the interior. I have engaged the passive restraint system. This was GM's low-cost answer to the 1990 and later passive restraint requirement for all cars sold. So rather than putting in an airbag, they installed these lovely seat belts on the doors that allow you to get in and out. Without unbuckling. I'm sure that 98% of the people who have ever driven this car have never done that. But, nonetheless, I thought I would show you, in theory, what that's supposed to be doing. It does have leather. It's all in very good condition. The floor mats are not original, but I did have some custom ones made that had the Cadillac emblem. Interior is in great shape. No cracks on the dashboard. A lovely faux burled walnut trim. It, uh, it's not going to fool anyone with its fake plastic sheen, but it uh, does look rather luxurious. One of my favorite features also are these interior lights. Very kind of disco 70s. The door pulls, of course. It's the only way to close the doors to pull on these door pulls, which is sort of throwback to yesteryear. We've got Brougham stitched here on the door, Brougham there on the glove box, Cadillac and script right there on the dashboard. Friends of mine have played the game. How many Cadillac emblems can you find in this car? They're all over the place. You'll never forget what kind of car you're in. But the uh, oh, trash can down there in the corner. 
automatic climb control. Two, it has the power mirrors, strangely. The control for one is over here. The control for the other is over there. I'm assuming someone thought that was a good idea at the time. Um, the control panel here. I love the font and the sort of throwback writing recliner. <laughs> it says recliner. I love it. Wiper controls, Twilight Sentinel, and cruise control. And Twilight Sentinel, for those who don't know, is a Cadillac feature that turns the lights on automatically when it gets dark, it turns them off again when it gets light out, and it also has a delayed uh, light on feature so that when you turn the car off and leave, it leaves the light on for 30 seconds or a minute or whatever so that you can safely exit your vehicle with the lights on. I'll take a quick look at the back seat. In great shape also. Lovely pull down armrest. Absolutely cavernous. I'm uh, pretty tall, six foot three, and leg room to spare. We're reading lights that work and return so you can adjust them. Cadillac something. Clean also. Original trunk mat, groceries, cassette tape player, <laughs> or rather, case logic cassette holders for my cassette tape player. It does have the uh, fuel. Door locking mechanism. So you flip the power lock switch, this closes, and that actually keeps the fuel door from opening. And for those who don't know, the fuel door is located here. I've got the Cadillac service information manual for the Brom 1991-92. Chock full of information. Of course, the electric pull-down feature. Very Cadillac. Chrome's in great shape. A little dusty today, but clean. the river. And there it is, looking clean. A bit dusty, but it has uh, been converted to the new uh, AC refrigerant. That's why it's a new compressor. Just replaced the alternator. Uh, but otherwise, I haven't had to do much to the car. So go ahead and start it up.
do a quick exhaust note so that you can hear that. streets of Manhattan in a very cozy parking space. And uh, yes, all this for bargain basement price of $233 a month, which parking in New York City is uh, about as cheap as you're going to find it. Barely fits. 